Hello there. Welcome to an episode of, I guess we'll call this Goodwill Gold. I got these Sirwin Vega DX3s at Goodwill for $9.99 a piece. DX3. They seem to be in decent shape. The only issue is foam, which I guess is pretty typical, is all dry rotted. You can see it just kind of falls apart. Uh, even came with the covers too, which are in nice shape. So I thought I'd bring you along to take my first adventure into reforming speakers. Not sure how it's going to go, but we'll find out. Stay tuned. Okay, so after watching some videos on YouTube, I found a foam kit from the fine people at Simply Speakers. Check them out. And this will be the replacement. Get rid of that crusty old thing. Make it look all pretty. First things first. Get these all done or taken out using my multi-tool for my mountain bike setup. Uh, I do have a YouTube channel called Jim's Random where it was supposed to be on just random stuff, hence Jim's Random. But it kind of turned into, well, what I wanted to be a mountain bike channel. And the only thing about that was the fact that I'm really not that good of a mountain biker. And so, you know, after seeing a bunch of different guys out there doing their thing, I realized that I should probably just leave that to the professionals, so I'm considering doing another channel with just truly random stuff. Uh, you'll have to excuse the noise, they're building a house across the street. And as you can see, this stuff is just disintegrating. So what I'm gonna do, I'll get these speakers out and we'll go from there. Okay, so I got this out. One thing I was gonna mention to you, when you're taking out the speakers, keep an eye on how these speaker or how the wires are hooked up so you can hook them up the same way. So just make a note to yourself and let's see where else we go. All right, so I got them out. I thought these were older. It says January 20th, 1993. For some reason, I thought these were just older. Don't know why. So. First things first, I'm going to get all this taken out. I'll be right back. Okay, so what you want to do next is get these gaskets off. I've already done it, but all you want to do is go on the outside and then go on the inside to get these off. I didn't tape it because I didn't want to stab myself or cut the speaker or myself during the process. Just take it slow and don't force it, and then they'll both pop off like these. Then what you want to focus on is getting all this junk off and this. What I'm going to do is take as much off as I can with a knife. With this stuff, I'm actually going to put some rubbing alcohol on it, scrape it off carefully, just like they showed in the video, and I'll be back. How did we end up at this point with finished speakers? Long story short, I had a big mess on my hands. I had adhesive and foam all over the place. Then I started adding rubbing alcohol into the mix to get everything else cleaned off. And then it was just like gooey crap everywhere. So my advice to you is if you're gonna do the refoaming, make sure to clean up after, after you remove all the foam and adhesive. And then you can start doing the alcohol, clean up after that, then do your glue. So I will say, other than that little issue, it was pretty smooth doing the refoaming on it. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. I had planned on flipping these speakers too, but I was so happy with them after refoaming and just listening to them that I'm not getting rid of them now. So would I recommend the refoaming kit from Simply Speakers? Absolutely. Uh, really good instructions with it. Like I was saying before, just make sure to clean up as you go along. And it turned out pretty nice. They sound great, so I'm happy with that. Did have a little bit of, the, of an issue with the glue right there, but other than that, 
I'm not selling them, so it doesn't matter. I'm happy with them. I also was able to clean them up on the top. So all in all, super happy with the process. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know. Have a good one.